Hey, Mr. Richards here from our basement classroom. Uh, I'm just going to test a few things out here and maybe post this. We'll see. Um, so we have a sixth grade homework assignment here um, from lesson two in unit four. But in our first question, Johnny and Earl went to the local bank. Johnny deposited $30 and Earl withdrew $50. Represent each boy's situation with an appropriate integer. And so we have Johnny who deposited $30. That's typically noted with a positive number. And so that's going to be just simply 30. We have Earl withdrawing $50, and that's going to be represented with a negative number, so negative 50. And then in question two, consider the following situations. Write an integer that accurately re reflects the situation. A temperature of eight degrees below zero in Fahrenheit. That's going to be negative eight. A debt of $400. Well, a debt is a negative amount of money, so negative 400. And then a withdrawal of $90 is going to be a negative 90. But when we credit $25, that's going to be a positive 25. In question three, Lamar watches the news and the meteorologist states, the temperature on Monday will be four degrees below zero. Write Monday's temperature as an integer. That's going to be negative four. B, the meteorologist says it's going to be colder this week. Name a temperature that is colder than four degrees below zero. Well, that's going to be something either negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative 100, if things get even crazier than they are now. So anything less than uh, four degrees below zero from negative five on down. In question four, which situations would be best represented by a negative integer? Select all that apply. Well, a loss of $15 isn't certainly a negative, but a credit's a positive, a charge is a negative, a debit is a negative, but a deposit's a positive. So the three situations there, A, C, and D, are situations that are best represented by a negative integer. As we continue on, Use the thermometer below to answer the questions that follow. There's the thermometer. Here's the questions. Indicate where each temperature is on the thermometer. 25, negative 10, negative 20, and 32. Well, 25 degrees Celsius would be, let's see, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to get up to 30. So that means this is 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30. So 25 is going to be in between the 24 and 26 here. So somewhere right around here as I learn how to use this new writing tablet. This is going to be 25 degrees Celsius. Negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit is nicely right here. There's that negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative 20 degrees Celsius is right here on the Celsius side. And 32 degrees Fahrenheit, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five in between 30 and 40, which means we're counting by most likely two here, right? 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. So 32 is going to be right around here for 32 degrees Fahrenheit. In B, approximately what temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is the same as negative 10 degrees Celsius? Well, here's our negative 10 degrees Celsius, and we can try to draw the straightest line we can across here. Again, we're counting by twos, so counting down, it's 20, 18, 16, 14. Counting up, 10, 12, 14. So I would think it's pretty close to 14 degrees Fahrenheit. And then approximately what temperature in degrees Celsius is the same as negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit? We'll come back up here to negative 10 and try to draw the straightest line-ish that we can. <laughs> Maybe right here if I drew it straight. And again, these were counting by twos here. So this would be negative 22 followed by negative 24 degrees Celsius. And so negative 24 degrees Celsius is our solution there. Problem six, for each description below, write an integer to represent the situation. Then represent the integer on a number line indicating the location for zero or of zero using appropriate scale. 
Well, you earned $35 babysitting. That's going to be a positive 35. And if we draw a number line here, I'll get better as we go, maybe. <laughs> we'll put zero where it's not straight. And $35 for babysitting. We know we need at least counting by fives. And so maybe go five, and then 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And then you owe your sister 18. Well, that's going to be negative 18 because you owe. And so in this case, as we sketch out our number line, see, it got a little better until I try to draw the heroin. <laughs> Let's put zero here, and the numbers are going to get smaller as we go to the left. No matter if it's the positive side or it's smaller on the left or the negative side, it's always going to be smaller to the left. And so you owe your sister $18. And we could count by twos or threes here um, to get to 18. Um, you could count by fives and put something in between. Uh, let's just count by threes, perhaps. So we'd have negative three, negative six, negative nine, negative 12, negative 15, negative 18 by that little squiggly marker I had it. <laughs> The average temperature in Boston last week was six degrees Celsius below zero. The six degrees Celsius below zero is negative six. And as I give myself some more room here, negative six is pretty close to that zero. So we could, in theory here, count by ones. So zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. And that's it for lesson two. As we get to the next page, here's lesson three. Um, just kind of exploring here. Uh, that was the homework for lesson two. Um, so again, as we go through this, uh, that's just um, looking like it would in class. Uh, we would ask questions at that point if anybody had any questions before moving on. Uh, there'll be a chat window. You could use raising your hand features and things like that. Um, so uh, we're gonna do the best we can as we go through here. Uh, I'm certainly still learning the software and boom, there I am. So uh, as you can see, my basement is nice and clean and um, we'll, we'll make the best of this. So um, that's it for right now. Uh, good luck.